Hi, I'm Queenie and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Hello everyone! People usually care so much about how they look. They are always seeking a better appearance. Cosmetic surgery has made it easy for people to change any features in their bodies they dislike, especially in the face. People worry when they found any abnormality in their faces, any scars, discoloration, fine wrinkles, or blemishes. People would go to a dentist and door braces and bleaching paints to have what's called a Hollywood smell. Besides, surprisingly, you can now change certain parts in the body in terms of size. You can either reduce or enlarge. For example, breast augmentation and breast reduction surgeries. I mean, some people think if I can get better, why not? But today we're going to discuss one of the most required change in appearance, specifically in the face. Today we're going to talk about rhinoplasty or also known as nose job. People are not satisfied with how their noses naturally appear. They might think it is too big or too long and they want it thinner or shorter. Therefore, many of us would think that nose jobs are only aesthetic. Well, in fact, nose jobs can be done to treat a functional abnormality in the nose. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding rhinoplasty. Today, we have Dr. Kang, who is the leading doctor at La Hyun Plastic Surgery in Seoul, Korea. He's going to discuss with us about rhinoplasty from an experienced medical point of view. Hello, Dr. Kang. How are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, can you introduce yourself to our audience? I am the head of cosmetic surgery at La Hyun Plastic Surgery, and my name is Kang Kyung Tae. Uh, so come to our questions for rhinoplasty. Can you briefly tell us about the rhinoplasty pr procedure? Rhinoplasty covers a wide area of nose jobs including functional, aesthetic procedures. For example, raising the nose tip, diminishing the nose size, lengthening the nose, shortening the nose length, or straightening a crooked nose falls under the category of rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty covers simple procedures to complex ones that require anesthesia. While the WHO process is complex, these are what describes rhinoplasty in a nutshell. Uh, so I know there are a procedure called the nose wing reduction, uh, septoplasty and rhinoplasty. So mm -hmm. what are the difference between all of this? First, wing reduction is suitable for people with large nostrils, wide nose as well as flat nose. By reducing nasal wing, nose can appear sharper, raised and narrower with smaller nostrils. Septoplasty is a procedure to straighten the crooked bone and cartilage that divides the space between the two nostrils. Resulting is improvement of function as well. While these two mentioned procedures target the specific issues noted, rhinoplasty encompasses all nose procedures, including the two mentioned. Rhinoplasty can remedy functional issues through surgery as well as purely aesthetic reasons. Within rhinoplasty, it includes the wing reduction to reduce wide and large nostrils, as well as the septoplasty, which fixes crooked noses. Uh, so is it possible to correct a bubble's nose tip with nose wing reduction or any other procedure that are needed? Yes, there is a nose shape that is predominant with people from a certain region. When the nose is wide and the tip is bulky, we can simultaneously perform both correctional procedures together. Additionally, surgeries that may be done are shaping the nose or use the cartilage from the ears to sharpen the nose tip. And procedures to make the nose thin by removing some internal tissue. Um, if the patient has difficulties in breathing, is it be, can it be improved by having rhinoplasty? Depending on the causes for the difficulty in breathing, instead of the procedure being for cosmetics, it is for functionality. Also, it merits to know if the reasons are not based on issues with the nose, but perhaps based on otorhinolaryngology related problems. 
Rhinoplasty will not solve everything. If the shape of the nose is the issue, then it can be solved with rhinoplasty. But there are other underlying reasons. But the patient may have to consider autorenology departments. So, doctor, some people prefer nose, nose filler. Do, so, as a doctor, do you recommend nose filler for your patients? Personally, I believe fillers have certain advantages. There are many advantages such as costs and recovery time. Instead of a surgery right away, a patient can see how it works with fillers, as it is easy to reverse a course if dissatisfied with the results. So using fillers to achieve a desired shape has its advantages. Also, uh, are there any structural difference between Western and Asian noses? Classifying strictly as Western and Asian is not possible. Instead, they are based on certain regions and certain DNA. Yes, it is true that Asians tend to have more cases of low noses, wide nose tip, larger nostrils, short and pointing up noses relative to the West. But we can fix all of these issues nowadays with cosmetic surgery. Uh, so how long does it take to return to daily life? As short as three days and as long as seven days, which should be more than plenty. Usually within five days, one can return to a normal daily life. There are no major issues with going to work around then. Uh, so what are the possible side effects after having nose surgery? Several side effects are possible. Asymmetry, infection, prosthetics popping out of place, scars, etc. The hospital must be well equipped to prevent such side effects. The experience of the surgeon also matters. Good maintenance after surgery is also important. If one has surgery in a hospital that has ample experience, we can say that rhinoplasty is within the low-risk surgeries available today. Uh, so, Dr. Kang, what's unique about the nose surgery in your clinic? Our hospital's unique surgery methods treat short noses, wide noses, bulboas noses by using techniques that rely on minimal surgery with fast recovery. We have many patients who rely on our expertise. This is our strength. I guess that. Thank you, Dr. Kang, for joining us today. Yes, thank you. Rhinoplasty covers a wide area of nose jobs, including functional aesthetic procedures. For example, raising a nose tip, diminishing the nose size, lengthening the nose, shortening the nose length, or straightening the crooked nose fall under the category of rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty covers simple procedures to complex ones that require anesthesia. While the process is complex, these are what describes rhinoplasty in a nutshell. What are the procedures called nose ring reduction, septoplasty, and rhinoplasty? First, ring reduction is suitable for people with large nostrils, wild nose, as well as flat nose. By reducting nasal wing, nose can appear sharper, raised, and narrower with smaller nostrils. Septoplasty is a procedure to straighten the crooked bone and cartilage that divides the space between two nostrils, resulting in improvement of function as well. While these two mentioned procedures target the specific issue noted, rhinoplasty encompasses all nose procedures including the two mentioned. Rhinoplasty can remedy functional issues through surgery as well as purely aesthetic reasons. Within rhinoplasty, it includes wing reduction to reduce wild and large nostrils as well as septoplasty, which fix crooked noses. Depending on the causes of the difficulty in breathing, instead of the procedure being for cosmetic, it is for functionality. It merits to know if the reasons are not based on issue with the nose, but perhaps based on otorhinolaryngology related problems. Rhinoplasty will not solve everything. If the shape of the nose is the issue, then it can be solved with rhinoplasty. 
But if there are other underlying reasons, the patients may have to consider a laryngology department. Thank you for joining us once again at Cloudsville TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. We'll respond to you as soon as we can.